1936 Mills Tycoon pinball machine. This is a single ball machine and it has a payout mechanism. So it is essentially what made pinball illegal in the 1930s. It is more or less a pinball machine masquerading as a slot machine. And we're gonna do a little demonstration. Todd and I have been working on this game. Uh, basically what you do is you put a nickel into any of these seven slots and you can put as many nickels in as you want. If you put a nickel in say on the two in the five and then press this lever, it'll light up the two in the five slot right here. Then a ball will automatically be delivered to the shooter lane, just one ball, which you shoot up and then it will come down one of these lanes. Now you would like to hit the 30 lane. That'll give you a payout potential of 30 coins, 30 nickels, because this is a nickel machine. But to be honest, you usually hit the two because there's just more of them. Um, but whatever number you hit, if the ball rolls down and rolls into one of the lit lanes, and the lanes are lit depending on what nickels you select it down here, you will get the payout that the ball hit here and also that lights up back there. So it's a pretty cool game and then the nickels will pay out into this drawer, this kind of hidden drawer down there. And this is a falsy, nothing there. Uh, this game has all the keys, key here, key here, key there. And key there. Originally it ran on batteries, but we have the optional transformer assembly, so it runs off 120 volts. It's plugged in. And we also added a physical power switch down here, like a typical modern pinball machine would have, modern being 1960s and later. And the reason we did that is that there was a timer in the game. It's still there and it still works, just we have it jumped over so that the power switch turns the game on and off because that's just how we want to run it. The uh, timer was nice for locations, but the power switch is better for home use. Uh, game is in, in incredible condition. All the castings and the play field, everything's really nice. But again, this was a gambling machine and no pop bumpers or any physicality to the thing. It's purely just chance. And now we're going to let Todd uh, do a demonstration game for us. Todd, go ahead and turn it on. We've done, um, a, we got a power switch on it. On the bottom there. Okay, now he's gonna put a nickel in it. Betting on four. He's betting on four, four, so go ahead. Okay, right and up. the ball served up to the shooter lane. And I'm gonna cheat because otherwise we'll be here all day before we actually win. All right, so now he's grabbing the ball and he's gonna put it through the- Four payout. Through the four payout. And it lights the four back there. So now if we and hit four, we win. And now he's gonna drop the ball into there. And you heard it. And if you go in here, open it up, and we've got our four coins in there showing that it paid out, which is kind of cool. Um,